Now I shall continue the problems on uh, uh, Newton Robson method. We understood what is the theoretical background of uh, Newton Robson method to solve the algebraic transcendental equation. We have been studying a uh, regular Paulson method which is called as non bracketing method and uh, Newton Robson method as non bracketing method. Let me go for the next example of uh, Newton Robson method, how this method is going to uh, play the role in another type of the equation. Example. given that x into log x to the base 10 is equal to 1.2 use Newton Robson method use Newton Robson method to find up to 5 approximations to find up to 5 approximations the root of the equation the root of the equation up to 5 approximations and here the initial value is also not given then initial value by the bracketing method you have to work out and then you have to take the initial value. So, this problem uh, you have to uh, uh, verify carefully because logarithm is given as base 10, but the differentiation is required in uh, Newton Robson method. So, you need to uh, write this base 10 into base exponential, that means natural logarithms you have to uh, write and then you have to take the differentiation. Okay. Uh, so, let us write what is the given uh, data in this problem, given that it is f of x writing all terms to one side that is x log x and minus 1.2 then f of 0 this is equal to 0 log 0 minus 1.2 this is equal to infinity minus infinity this is infinity so which contradicts our assumption. So, our requirement is not infinite uh, quantity, our requirement is finite quantity. So, that we ignore this value and we will go for the next part. Let f of 1 is equal to that is 1 log 1 minus 1 1.2 f of 1 this is equal to log 1 is 0 then minus 1.2 less than 0 then f of 2 that is equal to it is 2 times log 2 to the base uh, 10 here it is to the base 10 whatever it is given minus 1.2 this is minus of 0 0.59 it is 794 then f of 3 is equal to 0 point it is 23136 then this is greater than 0 and this is less than 0 therefore we can expect uh, the root uh, in between 2 and 3 uh, for bracketing method. But here to identify the initial value we go for the help of uh, bracketing method, but we do not consider the uh, procedure of bracketing method at each and every approximation for the given equation. Okay. So, here let me select uh, this you can take it as root lies in that is 2 and 3 that means let x naught is equal to 2 you are permitted to choose any number either 2 or 2.5 or 3 either 2 or 2.1 2.2 2.3 up to uh, 2.9 and 3 any number you can choose but normally we take the middle number or the first number or the last number as an initial requirement x naught is equal to 2 then f of x is equal to that is x log x and minus 1.2 then f dash of x is equal to what is this f dash of x this is equal to product of two terms then uh, product of two terms means x differentiation is 1 this must be log x to the base 10 and plus of x into 1 by x this is log of 
e to the base 10 and minus 1.2 that becomes 0. This is differentiation uh, for the constant. That means differentiation for the constant means that you can write it as 1.2 where the differentiation with respect to the variable that can be taken as that is 0 because constant 1.2 differentiation is 0 and variable in the first term it is a product of two terms that is x into log x. So, where the variables are there then uh, differentiation is allowed where the constants are there then you can take it as that is uh, uh, differentiation of the constant becomes 0. Therefore, the first term is a product of two terms and uh, second term that is a constant that is 1.2 differentiation gives us 0. Therefore, we will make use of these two terms as uh, the first approximation in the uh, newton robson method according to the standard form of the equation. What is that standard form of the first approximation? x1 is equal to x0 minus f of x0 by f dash of x0. So, this is x0 is 2 minus of f of 2 divided by it is f dash of 2. So, this gives the first approximation gives 2.81. This is the first approximation according to Newton Robson method. Then uh, x2 is equal to x1 minus of f of x1 divided by f dash of x1. This is 2.81 minus of f of 2.81 and f dash of divided by 2.81. So, this gives the second approximation that is x2, it is 2.741. Up to uh, so many approximations it is asked in the problem, those number of approximations you have to write. Okay. Up to 5 approximations uh, you can go on writing. Then x3 is equal to x2 minus f of x2, this is f dash of x2. This is equal to x3 approximation gives. 2.74064. <coughs> then x4 should be x3 minus f of x3 divided by f dash of x3. This is equal to <coughs> x4 2.74065. Then x5 will be x4 minus f of x4 and divided by <coughs> that is f dash of x4. This should be uh, what is the number? Previous number is to be substituted in the next one. This gives 2.740. It is 65. Here the answer is repeated. Then we can stop and this will be taken as the required approximation. Otherwise, real root of the given equation according to newton robson method. And see, in the same fashion, we can work out for another few problems which I will be giving uh, the extra problems for the practice so that you can work out uh, for those problems uh, using the same type of calculations. Okay. First approximation, second approximation, third approximation like that. Then those are the values but one more, uh, one more example I shall show because it is a slightly different type of calculation. Then another example goes like this. Find square root of 12 to 4 decimal places to 4 decimal places using NR method that is Newton Robson method NR method same type previous problem 5 approximations we have written here also 5 approximations you have to write ok so we will verify those 5 approximations how these five approximations are going to be work worked out.
in the solution let square root of 12 is equal to x so whenever uh, this type of calculations are asked then first you have to represent by means of some unknown number because we do not know square root of 12 how much if you operate in the calculator directly you are getting but you have to solve this problem through numerical method okay x uh, square root of 12 is equal to x means that is 12 is equal to x square or x square minus 12 equal to 0 then f of x is equal to x square minus 12 that is equal to 0 now you have to uh, this is a this is your equation and initial value is not given and uh, from this first uh, firstly you have to uh, fix the interval and from that interval in the number you have to choose as initial value then initial value will be taken according to this calculations and the expectations okay then what is f of 0 this is minus 12 less than 0 f of 1 is minus 11 less than 0 and f of 2 is uh, that is 4 minus 12 this is equal to minus 8 less than 0 and f of 3 is that is 9 minus 12 this is equal to minus 3 less than 0 and f of 4 is equal to 16 minus 12 this is equal to 4 greater than 0 so this implies root lies in that is 3 and 4 root lies in 3 and 4 that means you will be expecting according to newton robson method the calculation value like uh, 3 point something you must expect Uh, directly you can also verify by the calculator okay then according to this let me take uh, the initial value as uh, that is <coughs> x1 is equal to that is initial value you can take it as uh, 3 then you start by uh, taking differentiation and also you can verify okay so let x0 is equal to 3 then x1 x not f of x not divided by f dash of x not so this is equal to uh, 3 minus f of 3 divided by it is f dash of 3 what is f dash of x here this is your equation then f dash of x is equal to this is 2x this is 2x and f of x is x square minus Well, so you have to substitute in this first approximation. It is three minus f of three. That is three uh, square minus twelve divided by two into that is three. Then you have to verify. So this comes to be three point four six four three. This is the first approximation. Similarly. go for the second approximation that is x2 is equal to x1 minus f of x1 and divided by f dash of x1 this is equal to x2 second approximation same type you write x2 gives us 3 point it is 4641 then x3 in the similar way you can calculate 3 point it is 4641 then here itself these two values are same this implies square root of 12 is equal to x3 that is equal to 3.4641 up to four decimal places so like this you can solve the problems uh, by using newton robson method let me write some uh, some general problems where you can try on your own that is for extra practice i will write uh, the general law uh, heading apply newton robson method to find up to up to x4 the approximation for the following for the following equations the first equation is 
e to the power x e to the power x is equal to x cube plus cos of it is 25 x near x equal to it is 4.5 Second problem that is x into sine x plus cos x equal to zero near x equal to five. Third one x to the power of four minus five x cube plus twenty x square minus forty x and plus sixteen equal to zero. Fourth one, that is x cube, x cube minus two x plus x minus four equal to zero. Fifth one, x to the power of four minus x minus nine equal to zero. The problems in general you can take like this, and the next one, sixth one, that is. Find that is square root of it is thirty seven and seventh one find find cube root of it is twenty seven. Twenty eight cube root of twenty eight. Same type already we have given the procedures according to the same procedure you. Uh, take the steps as per the newton robson method and then we can solve so after this the next topic we are going to discuss as the integration on newton uh, newton's forward interpolation formula thereby three important formulas you are going to study one is new uh, that is the chopped tight list numerical integration numerical integration uh we take the integration as the basic equation integration is nothing but the area of the given curve covered between two boundaries lower limit and upper limit as the lower boundary and the upper boundary so the definition goes like this in this numerical uh, integration it is the process of obtaining it is the process of obtaining the value of the value of the definite integral the definite integral where it is represented as follows it is represented as follows then let i is equal to integration a to b that is f of x dx let a is equal to x not And d is equal to x n such that y equal to y of x. This function passes through passes through the set of values 
passes through the set of values or set of pair of numbers x0, y0, x1, y1, x2, y2 and so on. X not Y not X one Y one X two Y two and so on through so which then we divide we divide this interval interval means A comma B this is lower limit and upper limit that is equal to what X not comma X n as as one spacing at a time, two spacings at a time, three spacings at a time, likewise we define. So accordingly, when you take like one spacing, two spacing means you will be getting uh, by introducing this function inside the integral sign you will be getting one important equation where that equation is supposed to be the general interpolation uh, sorry general quadrature formula after the integration is uh, completed by substituting Newton's forward interpolation formula under the integral sign fx is nothing but y equal to f of x where y is nothing uh, y equal to uh, Newton's forward interpolation formula we are going to apply. If it is a single integration we call it as general quadrature formula and the uh, equation that we are going to derive through this integration by replacing f of x by a uh, Newton's forward interpolation formula is called mechanical quadrature formula and if you use double integral it is called cubature formula but here only the quadrature formula we are going to use but one spacing at a time means we are going to take n equal to 1 there it is called as the resulting equation is called as trapezoidal rule and uh, uh, two spacings at a time we are going to take it is called the Simpson's one third rule and three spacings at a time we are going to take it is called uh, Simpson's three eighth rule and four space uh, sorry ten uh, six spacings we are going to take it is called Weddell's rule. As per your syllabus there are three important equations of that one is Simpson's rule and uh, another one is Simpson's uh, Simpson's 3 one third rule and then the second one is Simpson's 3 eighth rule and one more is Simpson's uh, sorry Weddell's uh, uh, rule. So uh, that is all depending on the coefficient how we are going to uh, finalize in the simplification of those integrations. Now we shall start one by one uh, by introducing this one but the derivations are not in, uh, included in the syllabus so that I will write only the equations and then uh, those equations how they are going to play in the uh, problems that we are going to understand. Okay. So now uh, first equation is uh, Simpson's one third equation, one third formula we, we call otherwise Simpson's one third rule we, we call it. <coughs> So let uh, i equal to a to b f of x it is dx <coughs> replacing replacing f of x by newtons newtons forward interpolation formula. Newton's forward interpolation formula that is 
y equal to y naught plus u into delta y naught by 1 factorial plus u into u minus 1 it is delta 2 y naught by 2 factorial plus u into u minus 1 u minus 2 delta 3 y naught plus so on. Here u takes the value it is x minus x naught by h h <coughs> then your derivative is dx in this case but the interpolation formula is taking the right side symbol as u that means y is in terms of u here but whereas u is in terms of x that means from this formula you can make out y in terms of u u in terms of x that is the derivative is dx is there but y in terms of u means first of all you have to write in terms of du therefore uh, du is equal to dx and dx is equal to du you, you have to write okay that is du differentiating on both sides because x naught is constant and h is constant x naught is first number and h is facing that is also numerical value these two are numerical so that u is equal to that is uh, x into x d i f 1 by h 1 by h and then it is dx okay then you will write dx is equal to h into it is du so dx is equal to h into du then you are going to get uh, some general quadrature formula when when you integrate with respect to u after removing these brackets and then because uh, because every term is to be integrated in that when you replace this formula inside the integral sign and with the limits for example so limits are at x equal to x naught in this case then u becomes x naught minus x naught divided by h 0 by h and this is equal to 0 at x equal to xn this is nothing but x naught to xn it is y dx then x naught to xn y dx means y is equal to f of x then xn means that is x naught plus n into h because x naught x1 x2 and x3 and so on the spacing is h is there in between these two therefore x x1 is equal to x naught plus h and x2 is equal to x naught plus 2h and so on similarly xn is equal to xn x naught plus nh then uh, u is equal to it is x naught plus n into h minus of x minus x naught that is nh minus x naught and divided by h this x naught cancels n into h divided by h cancels then n therefore your new integral i is equal to a to v that is the y dx is equal to uh, x naught is at x equal to x naught means it is x naught to xn it is y dx is equal to is equal to 0 to that is n this number and in place of y that is forward interpolation formula plus u into delta y naught by 1 factorial that is u into u minus 1 we can take it as that is u square minus u should be delta 2 y naught divided by it is 2 factorial and plus so on you will be writing and multiplied by in place of dx you are going to write as h into du if you integrate every term and then uh, substituting substituting the upper limit and lower limit you are getting one important general formula that is called a uh, newton's general uh, quadrature formula otherwise it is called as that is uh, uh, newton's quotes formula otherwise it is called uh, general a quadrature formula or Newton's quotes formula. So that equation is given as follows. From that general formula, we obtain varieties of quadrature formulas. In general, it is called as quadrature formula only. Then, how that formula, when you substitute all the 
terms with the upper limit and lower limit, you will be getting that general quadrature formula is defined like this. Integration x0 to xn y dx is equal to n into h multiplied by y0 plus n by 2, it is delta y0 and n into 2n minus 3, it is divided by 12, delta 2y0 and plus so on. So, this is the final form after the integration and then substituting the limits. In this, we uh, replace that is n equal to 1, we are getting trapezoidal rule and n is equal to 2, we are getting Simpson's one third rule and all that. Okay. Uh, how many uh, varieties of formulas you are getting? Okay. At n equal to 1, we get we get trapezoidal rule. Trapezoidal rule that is n equal to 1 means x0 to x1, x1 to x2. That is x0 to xn, if you add all the values, that is y dx is equal to hy2 multiplied by that is y0 plus yn plus 2 times y1 plus y2 plus so on plus so on yn minus 1. So, this is the result you are getting. Since the derivation is not there, I am just writing final uh, form of the equation. But this is uh, in the syllabus, this is uh, not there. Only that is Simpson's one third, Simpson's three eight, and Reddy's formula. You have to study. That is according to the syllabus, uh, Matrix of uh, Matrix forty one. Simpson's one third rule and Weddell's rule. Only two formulas that too without proof you have to study as per the syllabus given by VTO. So, let me explain only Simpson's one third rule and Weddell's rule for your understanding. Then, anyway, this is first formula and second one at n is equal to 2, we get Simpson's one third formula. So, how that one third formula will be there? Let me write that equation x naught to xn y dx, this is equal to h by 3 h by 3 multiplied to y naught plus yn and plus of in the Simpson's one third formula we have. 4 times it is y1 plus y3 plus y so on y1 plus y3 here y2 and then y4. So, y5 plus so on plus so it is yn minus 1 plus so it is 2 times y2 plus y4 plus so on plus yn minus 2 is the Simpson's one third rule. Now, you have to study this one as per the diploma uh, uh, 18 mat dip 41 syllabus. And one more is that, that is Weddell's formula. That is third one at n is equal to 6, we get n is equal to 6, we get Weddell's rule. Weddell's rule will be like this, integration x0 to xn, it is y dx, 3h by 10 multiplied by, 3h by 10 multiplied by y0 plus y times y1 plus y2 plus 6 times y3 plus so, it is y4 plus y times y5 plus y6 and plus so on plus last term is yn. So, this is Weddell's formula. These two are in your syllabus. This is not that because but the order of getting the values n equal to 3 
one more simpsons formula you are getting that is called simpsons create formula since it is not there in the syllabus i am not writing then these two equations you have to study the problems how you are going to work out uh, these problems on the application of numerical integration so now i shall write one by one example on simpsons 1/3 simpsons 1/3 uh, uh, formula using the given function under the integral sign may be exponential may be trigonometric may be polynomial equation may be a combination of all those terms which are appeared under the integral sign The problem is simply with the usual form, that is the integration. Why this numerical integration is specially uh, popular? Because some of the integrations which are uh, uh, said to be complicated, we cannot solve by the usual methods of uh, substitution, integration by parts, integration by partial fractions, uh, then reduction formula. We cannot solve. In such cases, we use numerical method to solve such integrals. Then we can get very comfortably. up to the desired degree of accuracy first example evaluate integration 0 to 6 dx divided by 1 plus x square it is dx using using simpson's one third rule simpson's one third rule with with six equal parts with six equal parts To write the solution by choosing the given equation as the integration symbol as i, and then identify what the function is appear inside the integral sign, and then you uh, take that number of equal parts. That is the value of h is to be identified. Then you have to prepare the table of values of x and y, and then x not y not uh, x one y one x two y two and all that. then you'll be getting the corresponding uh, substitution in the uh, required formula that is since is 1/3 we need uh, y0 y1 y2 y3 and so on inside the formula uh, then it all depends on how many equal parts it is going to be mentioned but here six equal parts are there let us take those seven ordinates let from the given problem it is i is equal to 0 to 6 dx divided by 1 plus x square the equation then this can be taken as <coughs> that is uh, 0 to that is n okay that is 0 to n <coughs> 0 to n otherwise a to b you can write general symbol a to b here that is 1 divided by 1 plus x square it is dx this clearly implies that is a to b it is y dx this implies y is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus x square now for six equal parts for six equal parts we have we have uh, h is equal to b minus a divided by number of equal parts number of equal parts that is h is equal to b minus a b is equal to 6 then minus 0 divided by equal parts of 6 that is equal to 1 6 by 6 is equal to 1 that means spacing between uh, two successive values of x 
will be equal to 1. Therefore, you have to find out this is x0, this is x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 and then it is x6. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 equal parts means you have totally 7 ordinates. 7 ordinates means these are the lines. These are the lines means you just count how many lines are there. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 ordinates you have uh, number of equal parts are that is 6. We can easily remember like this. So, these are the two chuck pieces are there. So, these are the two chuck piece, chuck pieces are there means you can see that these are the two vertical lines. These are the two vertical lines means inside this space is one you can write. Okay. Now, I will add one more here. So, uh, you are much familiar with the wickets in the cricket match. So, how many spaces are there? Yeah, that is a good example that you can remember. There are three wickets are there. But inside spacing you are getting it as only two. Between first and second one spacing, second and third another spacing. But vertical lines are three. But here in the problem you have to take always number of equal parts in the denominator. Okay. Like this if you take one more then one more means there, there are four. So, inside the uh, in between the four uh, uh, vertical lines there will be three equal parts, three spacings. Therefore, uh, number of equal parts are always uh, one number less than number of ordinates. Then, so when you have these concept, uh, number of equal parts only to be taken for the calculation of H, not the ordinates in the denominator. Okay. Then, so form the difference table, uh, sorry, uh, set of values of the table, then x and y is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus x square. This is your equation. Okay. So, y is equal to fx, which is nothing but f of x. So, prepare a table according to the ordinates. How many ordinates are there? 7. But number of equal parts are 6. This is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, what are the calculations, corresponding calculations? You must go on writing. What is that? At 0. So, x equal to 0 means here 1 divided by 1 plus 0. So, 1 divided by 1 plus 0 means it is 1. Next is 0 0.5. You verify from this. 0 0.2. 0. Point that is 1 and 0 point, 0 0.1. So, for 3, then 0 0.0588, 0 0.0385, 0 0.027. So, these are the values. What are these values in the first column? That is x0, x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, and then x6. So, these are the given values and the corresponding values you are going to represent as y0, this is y1, this is y2, y3, y4 and y5 and then it is y6. So, all these 6 values will be inserted in the equation uh, that is Simpson's one third rule and then you need to calculate. Okay. So, how this Simpson's one third rule will be followed? Let us verify. Okay. So, what is that Simpson's one third rule? Integration x0 to xn, x0 to xn that is y dx is equal to hy3, you have to write, okay, by Simpson's, by Simpson's one third rule, by Simpson's one third rule we have, what is the equation? That is integration x0 to xn y dx is equal to h by 3 multiplied to y0 plus yn plus 4 times it is uh, 4 times y2. This is one third that is y1 plus y3 plus y5 
plus so on, plus of y n minus one, okay, and plus of it is two times y two plus y four plus y six plus so on. Odd suffixes here and even suffixes here. Then close the bracket. Now this is y naught, this is y one, y two, y three, y four, y five, and then y six. Accordingly, you choose this. So, so y naught is first value, and this y six will be always to be taken as this is y n. In this problem, it is y n. But in any problem, last value in the table that you have to take it as the last value of y. Last value of y is y n. Then you need to write these values as h is equal to that is uh, one. H is equal to one. Which is calculated already. One divided by three, then multiplied by one divided by three multiplied by y naught. That is one plus so. It is y n zero point. It is zero two seven plus four times. You select alternately y one. That is zero point five and plus so y three zero point one and plus so. That is y five. 0.0385 and plus so two times you have to write that is y2 0.2 then y4 that is plus so 0.05 it is 8 0.0588 this value thereby. Thereby you can write that is integration of x naught to x n y d x equal to zero to six or d x divided by one plus x square is equal to this calculation comes to be this calculation comes to be one point four zero it is five. Six, one point four zero. It is five six. This is the value through numerical integration formula. But this equation you can also uh, solve by the direct method. Direct integration also a uh, bit easier one in this one. We can calculate how this direct integration. Let us verify. Okay, so you can try and you can uh, confirm your answer is correct or not. Your answer is. Uh, very close to the uh, answer which is got by numerical method and the analytical method directly we are going to solve by new uh, analytical method of integration whether it is going to be matching with the uh, numerical value uh, numerically calculated value or not we will verify that then by direct substitution By direct method, we can say. By direct method, we can write. What is this? By direct method, we can integrate one by one plus x square means it is tan inverse x. Tan inverse x between zero to six. This is equal to tan inverse. It is six and minus of tan inverse it is zero. So tan inverse of It is six is the value. What is this tan inverse of six uh, value? Approximately equal to this is one point four zero five four. This is the answer. So this value tan inverse of zero is zero. This is the same. Almost it is very close to the method where you are going to apply the numerical method and the analytical method also. Both of them will give the same type of calculation. Then we will go for another example. How this Reynolds formula is going to be applied? Okay. I'll take uh, the next example. How the Uh, 
an uh, Weddell's formula and Simpson's one third formula can be compared with the what type of uh, uh, substitution which you can do here and then how this uh, formula is going to be added that is uh, or it is to be compared by taking uh, with uh, uh, Simpson's one third rule and Weddell's formula. Okay, then uh, second example I will write. Evaluate integration zero to one dx divided by 1 plus x by by Weddell's rule by Weddell's rule and hence and hence find the value of log 2 approximately log 2 approximately solution let i is equal to same notation 0 to 1 it is dx divided by 1 plus x Okay, so dx divided by 1 plus x uh, is equal to should be a to b, it is y dx implies y is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus x. So we will choose uh, same as we have chosen in the previous one, we choose h is equal to 1, h is equal to 1, the, sorry. Uh, which is equal to that is 0.1 if I take then it is nothing but b minus a or you can take h is equal to 1 minus 0 divided by 10 equal parts that is 1 by 10 is equal to 0 0.1 that means 10 equal parts here otherwise 11 ordinates. 11 ordinates or 10 equal parts. So, in whichever the long way you can call it. Then you have to prepare the table x and y 1 divided by 1 plus x. So, totally 10 values you have to document. Totally 10 values means 11 ordinates. Then it starts from 0, it is 0.1 then 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 uh, sorry 1.0, 1.0. .0. How this uh, values of y, we will take the calculations, we will verify. Then at 0, this is 1 divided by 1 plus 0, that is 1, okay. Next is 0 0.999, 0 0.8166 and so on, you can, you can write all those values. This is the last number, 1 divided by 1 plus 1, this is 0 0.5, okay. Then by Weddell's rule in this case, all the values when you calculate by Weddell's rule, we have what is that equation? That is uh, integration, integration a to b by dx, otherwise x naught to xn 
it is y dx is equal to it is 3h by 10 multiplied by y0 plus 5 times y1 plus y2 plus 6 times y3 plus y4 plus 5 times y5 plus y6 and plus so on. This is the order 1, 5, 1, 6, 1, 5 and then 1 and so on. In this order of the coefficients, you can, uh, you can easily remember all these coefficients in that particular order. Then this is nothing but 0 to 1 dx divided by it is 1 plus x is equal to 3 into h divided by that is 0 0.1 divided by 10 and y naught is 1 plus 5 times it is 0 0.999 and plus this one 0 0.8166 and all the values according to this you go on substituting and the last number this is 0 0.5 rate as it is because it is supposed to be the value of yn then the calculation comes to be from this table the calculation comes to be that is equal to 0 point it is 70 it is 63 0 0.7063 as per the numerical integration dx divided by 1 plus x and here in this problem you need to calculate the value of uh, log 2 that is log 2 will not be coming in uh, and, uh, by the numerical method but by the direct method you have to do that and whatever that equation on the right side term you are getting from that equation term you have to compare this value okay now I will write to find log 2 to find log 2 we have by direct integration we have by direct integration as integration 0 to 1 it is dx divided by 1 plus x is equal to so 1 divided by 1 plus x means it is log x and it is running between 0 to 1 ok so running between 0 to 1 means this is equal to log 1 and minus log 0 ok so log 1 minus log 0 means this is infinity this is 0 but this is called minus infinity this value we do not take then the integration this is equal to log 2 <coughs> log 2 sorry log 1 plus 1 plus x it is I am sorry log 1 plus x it is not infinity here log 1 plus 1 this is not 0 then this is the correction you have to notice and minus of log 1 minus of log 1 means this is 0 this is equal to log of 2 so log of 2 from this direct calculation hence you can write log 2 is the value 0 0.7063 that is the value of log 2 therefore you can do this by integration directly and then you can get but here you are getting log 2 but log 2 is equal to this value right this is by Weddell's formula so like this any of the problems you can study using Simpson's rule and Weddell's formula then I shall give few examples extra problems I shall give so that you can practice exactly according to this procedure some general problems I am going to write now here the first example according to this we will write use Simpson's one third rule to find use Simpson's one third rule to find integration 0 to point 3 1 minus 8x cube this is whole to the power 1 by 2 dx 
by choosing three equal parts by choosing three equal parts next example evaluate integration 4 to 5.2 log x to the base e dx with seven ordinates using weddell's formula otherwise weddell's rule next one evaluate 1.2 to 1.4 sorry it is 2.4 1 divided by log x to the base ten it is dx <coughs> using using weddell's rule using weddell's rule with h is equal to point one next evaluate evaluate zero to zero point five e to the power minus x square dx by Simpson's one third rule. Simpson's one third rule with h is equal to point one. That is zero to point five. So in all these problems, you can notice in this problem Simpson's one third rule with the three equal parts. So three equal parts means you can write zero, point one, point two, point three. So this gives three equal parts. Okay. So three equal parts means between these two one equal part. This is between these two one equal part. This is. But number of ordinates will be four. One, two, three, four. And here in the Weddell's rule, this is seven ordinates. Four to five point two. Seven ordinates means five point two minus four divided by six. You have to take. Okay. Divided by six. That means seven ordinates. Will be six equal parts. What is this? One point two divided by six. That is point two. Therefore, four, four point two, four point four, four point six, four point eight, four uh, uh, five point zero, and five point two. That is the last number. Five point two. So up to these values, you have to consider. And here h is equal to 0.1, so 1.2, 1.3 up to 2.4. How many values are uh, you are getting? And then use it. H is equal to 0.1, 0.1, 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5 like that. So the this type you can solve the problems using numerical integration. Even you can collect uh, some other problems also. Where the definite integral, because indefinite integral in this method we we are not going to discuss. Only the definite integral, that means integration with limits, we are going to discuss. Okay.